Hey everybody, this is Jason Johnson. I'm here at the University of Kentucky and I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to use different devices when you're web conferencing. Now we use Zoom here at the University of Kentucky, so I'll be using Zoom, uh, but you won't really see it. It'll be behind the, uh, behind the scenes where I can switch between my different devices. So the plan here is to look at some different inexpensive devices that you can use for Zooming, particularly when it comes to audio. Uh, audio is really important, obviously, when you are Zooming. It makes people feel either connected to you or not connected to you if you're close or far away. And so getting audio, not just video, in your web conferencing for education is essential. And so I'm gonna show you a few different devices you can compare yourself and decide which one is for you. So let's begin by doing a, a short review of the devices we're gonna to use today. So these are the six items we're gonna test out, plus the computer microphone. Earbuds that I got for free with my Samsung S7. Beside those, I've got what I call the fake pods, which are some fake ear pods that I got through eBay for about 20 bucks probably. Um, next we have a Logitech video camera that we're going to just use the internal microphone off of that. That's a Logitech C270 and that was a, is about uh, $22 on Amazon right now. Next we've got the headphones that I tend to use and this is what I tend to use all the time, uh, almost all the time is a, a company that you may not have heard of called MPOW and they do these headphones that are really nice because they have a little bit of absorption to them and so they block out external noise. You can see these kind of squishy uh, ear pieces there and it's about $23 on Amazon right now and you can see the built-in microphone and USB connection there. Next we have uh, what's called, the uh, company is CAD, C-A-D, the U2. Um, and that's another one that's a USB connection. You can see there, uh, it doesn't have the volume controls that the other one has, but it's just a direct USB. And then again, this external microphone that kind of comes around like a, um, like a telephone operator. And then the last one is the Blue Snowball. And this is about $50 on Amazon. You'll see a number of these uh, in different colors. They all basically sound the same, whether they're the black or the aluminum brushed or the white. But the white is the original blue snowball. And again, another USB connection. Now what we're gonna do is run through the different devices. Uh, I'm gonna talk about them a little bit and then I'll run through them again uh, recording just a short phrase uh, with the device up on the screen so that you can hear them side by side and then we'll close. So this is the laptop as you can see from the webcam as well as the, just my uh, Dell laptop microphone that's built in. Nice thing about this is that it's built in. It goes everywhere that you go. A uh, downside is that you're probably going to hear a lot more room noise. I have a large room here um, by busy street and uh, so you may hear a fair bit of that. As well as you have to really watch the distance as you get a little further away from the laptop, you can see how, or listen or hear how the, uh, the voice uh, changes and uh, versus getting a little closer, uh, up close and personal with the laptop. So that's it, this is the, uh, just recording directly into a laptop. Okay, so these are just the earbuds that came with my Samsung phone and with that little microphone down here someplace. Uh, one of the things you have to watch out for, of course, with these are um, the noise. You don't hear it yourself, but often if it gets shuffled or if it's hanging down on your shirt and it's getting moved back and forth, I see this sometimes with people wearing something with a zipper and it kind of goes back and forth across the zipper. A uh, nice thing about it is that there's no power uh, to for batteries or anything like that, um, but you can also hear that often the sound quality on these kind of devices are, are not as good. So now we have the integrated webcam, the Logitech C270, and uh, both, I'll use this for the video throughout, but the using the microphone specifically. 
in Zoom and most web conferencing, you can actually select uh, what microphone you want to use separately from the video camera, which is really nice. And so in this case, I've selected uh, the Zoom C270. You can hear a little bit more of the room noise um, as I get a little further away. It makes a difference. And so you typically want to be up pretty, pretty close to your microphone and not have it too, too far away. This is something to consider if you're trying to Zoom uh, with maybe a panel of people or a table full of people. Uh, you're probably going to want a different kind of microphone. There are some out there. Uh, cameras out there that have um, a couple microphones in, in what they call kind of uh, room mics or dispersion mics or, or like uh, they call them 180 degree mics, uh, stereo microphones. And so those are probably the ones that you're going to want to go for. But this is the, the Logitech C270. Okay, and now you can see I've got my earpods in or fake pods as I, as I call them. Um, the nice thing about this is that they're connected to your head. And so you can move around a little bit. It doesn't matter if I'm away from the screen or if I want to stand up and walk around or whatever. They're connected into my head. Um, and that's the nice thing about it. The downside is you always have to make sure that they're charged up. It can be kind of a pain if you're in the middle of your lesson and they, they go down. Or if you're, uh, if you're talking and it starts to make a disconnect, that can be a disruption. Uh, but these are the fake pods. Uh, my guess is that the really expensive ones will sound better than this, but at least you get an idea from the. Okay, so this is my go-to. Uh, these are the MPOW uh, 071s. And the reason why they're my go-to is because they cut down on the outside noise for yourself, for listening. And so I can use these at home. Um, I can use these at a coffee shop. They don't work too badly. You can also hear that because of this close microphone, you hear less of the room. It doesn't have to pick up a lot of the room. And so uh, it's a nice close connection. I find for the most part, I don't really have to adjust things uh, at all. If I want to adjust this, uh, we've got this here. I can mute my microphone here. Um, and you can also turn up the ear uh, buds part of it uh, from, from this little USB. Uh, plug and play seems to work on on any computer and so I'm pretty happy with these for the price These are actually my second pair my first pair because I throw them in my ba bag all the time my second uh, This is my second pair because um, the other ones kind of got um, uh, They did start to break up here um, But other than that, I've been super happy with these for the for the price and the quality uh, this is the other set of uh, headphones, as you can see. Uh, these are the CAD U2s, and uh, you can hear some of the difference there. They're a little lighter weight. I can hear a lot more that's going on around me, uh, but um, some people maybe would like that a little bit more. Sometimes with the other one, um, I kind of pull one of the ear pieces off because it's a little strange because it's so uh, enclosed. Uh, but these are the uh, MPA or the uh, CAD U2s. And here's the last device that we're going to use. This is the Blue Snowball. I have this uh, up a little closer to my face, as you can see, just so you can hear it nice and clear. Uh, it is nice to get, especially if you're recording something, to get it up a little closer. Uh, now I'm going to set it on my desktop so you can hear what this sounds like. I'm probably maybe about... 15 or 16 inches away from my face right now. I just sat down on my desktop, just kind of down below my chin. And so you can hear, they can still hear me. Uh, you maybe hear a little bit more of the, the noise around me, the truck backing up outside on the road and those kind of things. So now we're gonna listen to all the devices just speaking a short phrase. Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no true education. Paulo Freire. Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no true education. Paul Ferrer, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Logitech C270. Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no true education. Paul Ferrer, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no true Education. Paulo Ferrer, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no education. Paulo Ferrer, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. 
Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no true education. Paula Ferrer, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Without dialogue, there is no communication. And without communication, there can be no true education. Paula Ferrer, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below in the chat, as well as you can do this kind of test yourself. You can record in Zoom or something else using some of the devices that you have on hand, uh, testing some new devices that maybe you want to try out. Uh, use the Amazon return policy to send back the ones you don't like. And uh, let me know what else you find out if you have other suggestions for, for uh, inexpensive ways to get good quality audio in your web conferencing. Uh, I would love to hear them. So uh, let me know and happy web conferencing.